sorry, over on my second channel. Well, I just posted episode two this week, or last week, depending on when you're watching this, but either way, when this video comes out, episode two will be up. So, I will have the link to that channel down below. It's always in the description box of my videos. So, if you're interested, go ahead and look over there. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. I would really appreciate it, and I'm really sorry to get excited about bringing that channel back to life and doing this little mini podcast series over there. So, it is not ASMR, it's just conversational podcast type videos, so that is down below. And the second thing I wanted to bring to your attention, because every, like once a month, I like to remind you guys that I do have a Patreon. It is linked down below, and it is $3 a month for three exclusive videos that I don't post here on YouTube. Um, so, three videos a month. The last one is always a life update, pure whisper ramble, and I tend to get a little more personal on there than I do on here. The videos of March, I believe, if I can remember, were a mukbang, uh, giving my apartment a facelift, so like a home decor, show and tell type of video, and then the lo-fi update. So, uh, that is over there, and that is linked down below, so if you are curious, I will have the link to my Patreon down below. Okay, let's get into our little grocery haul. This week is weird. A lot of it is like random little things that I just needed to refill, and they don't all like go together, but you'll see. So, I'm gonna just start with what's in front of me in no particular order. I needed to replenish my feta cheese. Normally, I get the, the baked up, but it was like absurdly expensive yesterday for absolutely no reason. So, I got the smaller one, but I love my feta crumbles. Um, it's the only brand that I've ever tried, I think, when it comes to feta, but it's so good, guys. So, I use this mostly for my, actually, pretty much only for my breakfast. So, if I make a little avocado scramble or avocado toast or whatever, feta and avocado, just... I also am thinking for Easter, how much is next or this coming weekend, making a watermelon and feta salad to bring to my family's house, but we'll see. But this is mostly for my breakfast in the morning. And I used to when I used to go to Trader Joe's in the fall, it's like a seasonal item. They have their sweet potato crackers. It sounds weird, but I would like take a little scoop of the feta on the cracker and eat it. And you wouldn't think that those two things would go together. They were really freaking good. and They don't carry them right now anymore. And I'm really sad about it. They're a seasonal item. And I still look for them every time I go to Trader Joe's knowing that they're not going to be there. But I always still have a little bit of hope. So, this is my feta. Big feta girl. Really, just any kind of cheese. I'm like, I'm there. I also needed to replenish my mayo that I use for sandwiches and um, for my tuna salad. I make a lot of tuna. Not a lot, but like two times a week, usually, I'll make a little tuna salad. Um, and this is the mayo I use. So, it's Hellman's. You know, everyone knows Hellman's, but I do get the vegan one. I am not vegan, nor am I vegetarian, or anything like that, but uh, it tastes exactly the same, and I get the vegan just because it's a little easier on my tummy. So, yeah, Hellman's established 1913, vegan dressing and spread, same great taste, plant-based, it's egg-free, which is also good for me, gluten-free, no artificial flavors, and it's cholesterol-free. probably my favorite mayo. I used to like really hate mayo, but now for sandwiches and tuna salads, it's really good. I don't know if I told you guys this, but last year I had a food sensitivity test done and the highest thing that came up for me was eggs. Do you guys remember there was a time where I ate two eggs every single day of my life for like a really long time? And ever since I've cut out eggs, I feel so much better. It's crazy. Makes me sad though because I love eggs, but anyway, here's the tuna that I was talking about. 
because this is the one that I buy. It's cheap. It's the cheap tuna, but it's good. It's the uh, starkest wild caught tuna. I don't get the flavored ones, the lemon ones, or the pepper ones. I don't do any of that. Um, I just get the one in water. You see here it says this packet has more protein than one egg. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But I do need to get my protein because that's how I got a lot of my protein was from eggs and stuff. So this it is a good sense or source of protein. So yeah, usually like twice a week I will have a little tuna salad. I usually just do the tuna, mayo, salt and pepper, green onions if I have them. If I don't have the green onions, I chop up cucumbers really, it's really, really tiny and mix that in there and it's really good. And then with that, I don't put it in bread or anything, but I dip it in crackers, so I'll show you. So these are not the usual crackers I eat with the tuna salad, but they didn't have the ones that I usually get. I usually get the Good Thins rice crackers, um, but these are really good too. These are crispy sea salt baked crackers. Um, they are gluten free, as you can see. I don't know why they write it so big, but anyway, these are really good. And these are good as just like chips. Like if you want a little snack too, they're really good. They are like salty, but not too salty. Um, are they rice crackers? Yeah, brown rice flour. And gluten-free oats. Yeah. They're so good. These are really, really good. If you watched my Patreon eat lunch video with me in March, at the beginning of March, these were the crackers that I ate with it. They're like not really crackers. They're like chips, but they're really good. So there's that. Um, what else? Speaking of egg-free, the bread that I was eating before, um, was the gluten-free bread. It still had eggs in it, which I didn't realize until um, my cousin came over who was vegan. I was like, here, I have bread. You can eat bread. She read the label and she was like, these have eggs. And I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> so I found this egg-free bread. It's apparently it's got fiber. Okay, whatever. Preservative-free, dairy-free, egg-free. vegan all that anyway it's really good it's artisan baker white bread and this is the loaf itself is bigger than the other one that i used to buy i always used to laugh because the pieces of bread were like this big from the other loaf and this is actual like real size it's like a real loaf of bread and it was the same price as the other one so i feel like i'm getting a better deal and it's just better on my stomach i don't know where that egg sensitivity came in but it, it like makes sense because i didn't eat eggs for like two weeks and then i ate them again just to like test and see and sure enough now when i have eggs it like hurts bodies are weird anyway so this is the bread that i have been enjoying lately mainly just for my sandwiches i try to switch it up but i have like three or four lunches that i make for work that i just like alternate turkey sandwiches being one of them i did not buy turkey meat this time around because i still have some so that's why it is not in this haul here but i do buy turkey meat um i also i've already washed them and put them away but um, why is this closed this should be open on the top let some air in there um i bought some grapes i've been switching it up normally i bring blueberries or i'd buy blueberries and i bring some to work every day but i just needed to switch up and i love grapes i could eat this whole thing of grapes like in one sitting and i am a big snack girl I bring a lot of things to work. I bring lunch, I bring dinner, and usually like two snacks, one of being one like a fruit and one like a snack snack, like popcorn or something. My meals tend to be a little smaller, um, so I need like snacks in between to keep me going. So this has been my fruit snack of choice lately. 
green grapes, they're a little more expensive than blueberries, but I love them, so they have been washed. They're just the green seedless grape. I'm not team seeds when it comes to grapes. I don't like it. I don't like, have to, I don't like working for my food. I don't have to spit out the, the seed. Just seedless grapes for the win. Speaking of snacks, this is my favorite popcorn at the moment. It is Angie's Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. I only get the sea salt one. I have tried the cheddar one, I think, and it is pretty good, but this is the one that I usually buy. Um, so it's real simple ingredients, nothing fake, 40 calories per cup, 100% whole grain, they are kosher, gluten-free, non-GMO, verified, blah, 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 blah. Um, I used to be a smart food popcorn girl. I still am, but this is the wave that I'm on right now. So I usually can make one of these bags last for like a week and a half, usually. So usually bi-weekly, I'll buy a bag of these. They do sell them like pre-packaged in smaller bags and it comes in a bag of six and that's like seven or eight dollars. I'm not doing that, so I just use Ziploc bags and bring my popcorn and I reuse my Ziploc bags too, so this is usually one of my favorite snacks of choice. Um, okay, these, this is from Trader Joe's. I only brought one to show you, but I usually buy like five at a time. These are my favorite protein bars. These are Go Macro macro bars. <laughs> this is the coconut, almond butter, and chocolate chip flavor. These are also organic, vegan, and gluten-free. I have only ever seen these sold um, at Trader Joe's, but Amazon sells them in bulk in like a box of 30 or 35, which I'm thinking of just doing that, but I like going to Trader Joe's, so I don't mind getting like five or six at a time. These are so good, guys. I first discovered these when I was strictly, strictly following the low FODMAP diet back in the day. Um, and these were one of the very few protein bars I could find that I could eat that wouldn't hurt me. And they don't hurt me at all. Um, there are 11 grams of protein in here. Um, and I'm not going to talk about calories or whatever because I don't personally count calories. That doesn't really do anything to me and I also don't want to trigger anybody. So we're not going to go into that. But um, I have tried the peanut butter chocolate chip ones. Those are pretty good. But this, this is my favorite. It has little bits of almond in it, a little bit of coconut and chocolate chips. It's so good. And so this sometimes will be like a meal replacement. I know that's not good. I'm not condoning that because you should have balanced meals. But if I'm on the go or if I'm running late, like I usually eat these on the weekends. If I'm running late for church and I'm hungry beforehand, I'll eat this in the car while I drive to church. Like that kind of thing. And they are so good. So I think I am going to end up buying them in bulk just because it makes sense. But we'll see. Um, okay, let's go into some produce. So... Let's see, I'll show you this first, my little produce basket that I keep on my counter. <laughs> um, it doesn't look very full, but it's only me, guys, that I'm shopping for, so, you know. So, I usually buy two avocados every week um, for my breakfast, and sometimes I'll incorporate it into my dinner, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, I already dug into the first one this morning for breakfast, so the other half of it is in the fridge, but I usually eat one half at a time. So two of them last me for the week. And then this week, this is not a normal thing, but this week for my dinners, I'm going to do like roasted asparagus, roasted potatoes, and chicken. I already had chicken, so I didn't buy that. So it's not part of the haul. But I bought little red potatoes that I'm just going to quarter or maybe cut them into six, depending on the size and toss them a little olive oil, salt, pepper, parmesan cheese, maybe a little dill, because I really like dill. Pop it in the oven with the asparagus, drizzle some olive oil on the 
asparagus and then I like to sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese so the Parmesan cheese gets crusted on the asparagus. So good. So that's going to be my meals for the day. So those are my pros. I'll show you the asparagus. As if you don't know what asparagus looks like, but for the purpose of today's video. So I got a little bundle of them. It's a good amount of asparagus. So this is nor normally I'll have like green beans or peas or something like that that I have frozen. But every once in a while I buy the, the, the real stuff just because it is better for you. It's just that frozen stuff is so convenient. But that'll be the bulk of my dinners for this week. And the last thing I have to show you, this is more of a replenish thing. I won't be eating this this week, I think. But I think I've talked about this before. This is the boil in a bag brown rice. It's so easy, guys. You just boil water. You put a bag. There's four bags in here. Four bags of rice. I think so. Yeah, four bags that are individually wrapped. Dip the bag in the water, and then you boil it for, what, ten minutes? Eight to ten minutes, and your rice is ready. I don't know how to make rice, like, the, the real way, which is sad for Puerto Rican, but it is hard. I don't know. Well, I've never really tried, but I've seen it done, and I don't know how to do it. So if I ever want rice, this is how I do it. I always buy the brown rice, just because I like it better. I like jasmine rice, too, but I usually buy the brown rice, and this is good for meals, or I made a stir-fry a couple months ago with this rice, and it's really good. I really want to learn how to make sushi at home, but obviously I know you need sushi rice for that, and I know that that's really hard to make, but one day... But that's pretty much everything. I told you it was a weird selection of things this time around. I did buy like laundry detergent. I'm not gonna show you that. I bought like Swiffers. Not gonna show you that. I bought Aquaphor. Like that, that, that stuff isn't exciting, but I just wanted to focus in on like the food stuff. So that's just a little 